not dreaming, but I look like someone who's dreaming because I've, I don't believe that this is happening, you know. Being a part of this, I feel so good and so, so happy. You know, it gives us the opportunity to do something we won't be able to do it on our own. They help you grow as a person and show you a lot of new things that you haven't done before. It's interesting, yeah, it's, it's really good. It's a good experience. It's an amazing opportunity to give us a voice and be able to um, tell our story or a story through short film. The first day um, for me was actually at Oasis where I met Danny. Hi, Bree. Hello. Hello. And I just told him my idea that what I wanted to do for Street TV. Is there anything you're particularly interested in? I'm thinking homelessness. The, the fear of displacement. I think we had a really great group of people come in and some really good ideas coming out of each yeah. of the individuals and their experiences. So yeah, there's quite a, a good mixture of people and they all seem pretty, pretty committed to getting on the course and yeah. being involved at the time. Which is what we need, you know? We need people to kind of really get into it and get the best out of it that they can. Yeah. The people here are really friendly, really welcoming. You walk past and everyone smiles at you. So yeah, you really feel welcome here. We got a tour of the whole place. Yeah, we kind of walked, we went from level to level, just checking out all works. We had some tours, we met some people. In the end, we produced three short films and might be occasion with a public screening. I tell you, it's not going to be an easy journey. There's going to be some tough moments as we cram what some uni students learn in three years into eight weeks. We got into groups, um, we got our mentors, and then, yeah, we started our scripts. Well, the day we started, it was kind of like we were all over the place. We had ideas, but nothing specific, and now, yeah, we've narrowed it down. I thought that was amazing, like, to meet the CEO. He was really down-to-earth, really nice guy. So, um, we just finished storyboarding, so our next step is shooting. Well, I come from the country. I'm not really from the city. I've only been here for about just over five years. Yeah, it's new place, new stuff, kind of... Yeah. I've been all over. <laughs> I grew up in foster care, so um, yeah, I've been to a lot of different homes, different families, different schools, different areas. Um, I'm originally from, my father is English and my mother's Torres Strait Islander. We're from a, an island in Papua New Guinea called Bari Bari. I'm from Africa. Uh, I'm the last, the last born of my family. I'm Somali, East African, and I, I grew up in Queensland. I moved to Sydney about a year, a year and a half ago now. I am going back to uni to become a nurse, a registered nurse. So I'd like to help people in the future. Um, I'd also like to have my own foster children. I will push through it. I will push through it again. Double Bay Beach doing our first day of the shoot. Um, we're just getting probably halfway through the first morning today, and um, luckily the rain has held off for us, which is good because it was not looking good this morning. We're shooting him now, hanging out with his friends. Yeah, him about to walk into the water. We're going to get some really cool underwater shots tomorrow in the lovely Foxtel swimming pool. Today we've got Kadisha and Ben. They're working together to create their story. They've created a really cool parallel story uh, about young people facing mental health, one for the first time and one who's kind of more experienced and knows what to do. So it's a really amazing story. It's really relevant for young people today. And I'm really kind of keen to see how they actually progress this story through. This afternoon, we're gonna be going out to an apartment uh, it's a service apartment that we're using to film in the location. With Kadesha, we go back into our room and we've got books with marine biology and it just it gives, it gives a little insight to character, but we were actually okay. I thought, I thought we were going to be pushing it, but um, 
Yeah, it's, we're halfway through and we're actually halfway through on our call sheet. So, yeah, so, um, yeah, we're, we're doing good. Hello, everybody out there. Good morning. It's your boy again, Promise. Also, Wessie, I hope I said that right, is a really cool film that I'm really excited to be working on. Essentially, it puts two different ideas together. You've got a story on one hand of domestic abuse in the home and then a story of war and escape on the other. Today, we're shooting the majority of the film. We started off this morning with um, shooting all the stuff out in the bush, so we have an opening shot where we have um, this really nice transition from these innocent kids playing, like running down and teasing each other, to this girl running furiously for her life from her abusive boyfriend who she's finally made the escape from. Working with Kate and Promise on this um, street TV film has been a really amazing experience. Straight away, it was instantaneous that we were going to have a good team. Kate's conceptual ideas were absolutely amazing and she painted a visual picture that we literally just put on paper. And then Promise is a natural born leader and director. And so working with both of them on this film, they both got very different um, strengths, obviously, but they complemented each other. today so um, just get in my Surrey Hills and just finding these nice sort of graffiti walls. The guys have been great you know Bree and Kobe have just been naming it for time so we're very lucky. And so basically mine and Kobe's short film is about two young people searching for belongingness and how um, they went from a uncomfortable place to a comfortable and happy place and how the Salvation Army helped us to achieve our goals. Yesterday um, we were filming Kobe's character, which was um, a young kid who's taken out of an indigenous background, who's sort of thrusted into this inner city um, sort of lifestyle. So we're just shooting a school scene with him in Boxtel. So I think it worked out pretty good. It's only external factors like weather and things like that. We've been really fortunate. The day they decided to pour, we were indoors, and now we've got sun, so we couldn't ask for much more. As much as we've been educating them on the processes and television techniques, they've just been educating us on some of the things that pop up in their every day-to-day -day lives. And um, it's been hugely humbling, and so it's been pretty all exciting all around. It makes me feel proud of what I've achieved. It's pretty important because it gives us young people a voice and a space to kind of tell our story and show other people in a creative way. Um, what we've been through and what we've gotten from Street TV and Oasis. Um. It's been very challenging and very inspiring and very motivating. Uh, you learn so much from it, from your mentors especially, and they help you grow as a person. We have to really focus on our dream and don't stop trying and keep trying on whatever you believe on. Street TV has been the most amazing thing. Like, it's the best opportunity. Yeah, it makes me feel... It makes me feel... me, I guess. So, you know, Sam is going all like, oh yeah, I have coffee, oh yeah, I've got that. You know, he tries to play the cool card and get the sympathy votes. But, um, you know, all in all, I don't think that's actually the case. I think I've only had coffee from Jesse. Okay, guys. Welcome on set live to one movies. I'm like, look at me, do more shots of me. Let's do it as we never done before, yeah. Listen to the bitch, yeah. I can see you, cool bitch. You listen to the bitch. <laughs> <laughs>